Let's talk about Scorpio. Here are 21 characteristics or traits that make Scorpio who they are. They're going to be both positive and negative because nobody's perfect. Scorpio is decisive. They know exactly what they want. They are fearless. They're strong. They're also compassionate and sensitive. They can be very protective, smart, whip smart, <laughs> and quite stubborn. <laughs> Once they have their head fixated on something, it's really hard to get them to switch the channel. They're curious, very curious about what makes other people tick. They're curious about other people's secrets, although they don't have to dig very far to find them. They're curious about other people's intentions and are very good at reading them. They're curious about the world and the meaning of life itself. Scorpio is passionate. Scorpio is honest when they're at their best. <laughs> they can be jealous. They can be possessive. They can be very secretive and um, unfortunately resentful when they feel they've been wrong. It's hard for them to forgive and to let feelings go and especially hurt feelings. Scorpio likes to hoard emotions and they particularly like to hoard emotions that made them feel something intense. So usually feelings of revenge, feelings of resentment, they just love to hold on to those very, very tightly. At their very best though, Scorpio is loyal to the very bitter end. This is the type of person that will literally ride and die for you. Some people say they're ride or die. Um, not a lot of people actually will hold up their end of the bargain. Like Scorpio is literally the person that will bury a body for you and will never speak of it again. That is a Scorpio when it comes to their dedication, their top tier. Not that I'm encouraging burying bodies in the backyard. I'm just trying to use an analogy or an illustration to demonstrate my point. My point is their loyalty has no end if they feel it's being reciprocated. Scorpio is ambitious. They're sensitive. They're intuitive. They're highly observant. They miss very little in their environment. They're brave. They're very picky about the type of people and experiences that they're welcoming to their world. They're not just open to anyone and everything. And most importantly, they tend to be a little reserved, you know, um, and it's not that they're not friendly. They're just more comfortable in the background, in the dark, just watching and taking notes. <laughs>